This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen to this recording that is aimed at helping you to sleep and feel sleepy when you can safely close your eyes.
creatures. The knee hurts the knee. When I say injure, I mean just banging it on the door by accident. I'm not talking about anything horrible. But it seems like it's instant. And it is instant. But the spinal cord that moves, that signal moves from the knee all the way up. So it moves from the knee through electricity to different connections that also connect to the spinal cord. Because obviously the spinal cord itself doesn't go all the way down to the knee, but connections from the spinal cord do move all the way down the body, move into every part of the body. And as quick as a flash, goes all the way up the spinal cord to your brain. And then your brain sends a signal down your spinal cord, which makes you go, ouch. But in turn, your spinal cord sends the signal the same time to your brain to send healing down to your knee so the knee gets warm blood gets sent to that part of your body fresh blood to heal that part to clean it is there, the spinal cord is there, your brain is there to help you. In case you're wondering why I'm talking about banging knees, and you think about it, if you cut yourself, it bleeds, but it bleeds and bleeds sometimes more than you'd like it to, but that's because the spinal cord has got the message that it's an injury. And it sends fresh blood to that area to heal it. And when the blood is pushing out, infection can't get in. So there's a purpose for all this stuff. Your body is constantly looking out for you and your mind is constantly caring and overseeing everything. And you may say, JJ, what the heck has this got to do with sleep? Everything. And you may say, but just saying the word everything isn't quite doing it for me. Could you please expand? I said I expand, I've been expanding for years. And you may say then, yes, I'm not talking about your weight gain. So the reason, the reason I'm talking about this is spinal cord constantly sending those messages up and down the spinal cord in a flash just all electricity electrical connections but like a really complicated plug So you go 
down and you go up the spinal cord sends messages of sleep I want you to realise that it's going to do that you can focus on the spinal cord those messages going up and down so the message sent to your feet for your feet to relax and sleep but then as your feet and toes relax and sleep that sends the message up to your brain through your spinal cord that your feet and toes are relaxed sleepy and that's what's required and then it sends back down what is needed for that situation which is nothing but more relaxation and sleep spreads upwards to your ankles and your calf muscles and your shins your knees your thighs your buttocks your groin your stomach chest back your lower back of your back, the top of your back, your shoulders, your arms, wrists and hands and fingers, forehead, eyes, jaw, mouth and your neck, back of your neck and your throat. It's all down to your spinal cord. Send those messages of deep relaxation. although the brain is a control center like the head computer the spine and all the connections are like the internet connects everything together without the spine there would be a lone computer on its own 
if it's turned off. You can't watch a television when it's unplugged. There's no point getting into a, a bath that has no water in it and expect to get wet. you have no roof and it's raining but that's a ridiculous situation it's your spinal cord it starts to not just relax in your 
your spine. 